official GDP, we've only said is 18 billion as of this year. But actually it's bigger. It is 25.8 billion. So our economy is bigger than we think. It also means that our per capita income is not what we thought. It is our per capita income is of the order of 1,500 in terms of GDP per capita. Yeah, this means that we are, we are if, even as things are, uh, as my colleague was saying, things being tough as they are, uh, we, we, can, we, can, we can see that this middle income status is, is achievable. It means that we are already technically at a lower middle income uh, country status. We are no longer a, a poor country, a low income country. That, that's the phrase, low income country, but already lower middle income. It should be easier for us to get to upper middle income. So, so I wanted to say this again. The economy is bigger than we thought. I still think that this is an under measurement given the formalization of the economy, but this is what we can measure. The minister is confident the economy will recover. We need to stop the bleeding. I'm, I'm faced with the bleeding patient. We need to stop the bleeding, and this is uh, one way to, to do that. Uh, secondly, we, we cannot do this without pain. My view is that the more pain we take at the beginning, in the first year or two, after that, we stabilize our macroeconomy. Uh, after that, we'll all be happy that we, we took the pain together as a nation at this stage uh, and we go forward. But also, uh, uh, thanks to, to the mobile telephone companies and the banking sector, the, 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 that has been deepening on the use of electronic money. So you find that measures that were effective before in, in, in broadening the tax base are no longer effective. So we have to come up with new measures for that. And this is one new measure. With a lot of Nigerian friends, I, I hope I won't walk away here from here with a lot of enemies. Uh, I'm not, I, I actually, I'm not in agreement with the trajectory of economic policy making in Nigeria right now. I think that uh, it is taking Nigeria 20 years back. Please do not try to fix the Naira. It's a bad idea. What is happening now is that the power market for the Naira will keep growing. The, what you call the power market premium between the official and the power rate is going to grow. And by the way, don't think that by fixing the Naira you are controlling inflation. You are not. Because inflation is being governed by the power market rate. So, so what's happening? Because if you're going to target a currency, then you have to defend it. So once you, if you are defending it, you have to run down your foreign reserves. So it's not surprising that Nigerian foreign reserves have dropped from something like forty-eight billion dollars under Governor Sanusi, who did a great job. He's a, good, he's a friend of mine, so I have to declare interest. Great guy, yeah. And now down to to below that, 30, thirty billion. Please let the, let the naira be your shock absorber for global shocks. Appreciate merge with the power market rate. Uh, if you are worried about the inflation hitting the poor, then you need to develop your social protection program to give a good cushion to the poor. That's, that's how you do it. So I, I do say that because, again, it's important that when we think about a, an enabling economic policy environment, when we are doing the right thing, then I think that we don't want 170 million people to be slowed down. There's so much energy in Nigeria. It's incredible. I, I just love it.